<laughs> yep. Yo, man, I don't know if there's another comedian that I've watched more than my, I call him my brother. Always. You know, and, uh, and he finds a way, Tracy, mm -hmm. to find something else to talk about in a way that's unique to him uh -huh. to make you laugh at something you've thought about a hundred times <laughs> already. Something? You know what's crazy? <laughs> Hearing that back, I was like, man, I was, I was so young. That was like, I'm so much better now. Mm. You felt that way. I was listening to that like, I'm so much better than that. I'm ashamed of that joke. Wow. If I was Jay-Z, I'd punch me in the face. Really? If I was Solange, I'd kick me in the balls. <laughs> no, I, I just, no, it's not that, it's, just, it's a cute joke, but that was my first special. I'm, I'm about to film my fourth special, mm. uh, God Loves Me. No, that was no, the third no, one. No, 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 good, good grief. grief. Good grief. <laughs> good grief. Good yeah. grief. Good grief. Not like good grief. Yeah. Yeah. Good, no. grief. Good, good grief. Good grief. Yeah. yeah. And, 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 and to me, I feel like now I'm, now I'm getting good because huh. I'm talking about things that are not comfortable. I'm talking about things that hurt, and I'm talking about pain, and I'm making people laugh, and meanwhile I'm dying inside, yeah. but that means that I'm really, it's like the layers of an onion, right? My, yeah. my, my niece, Shantae, she was hard on me. I was like, stop, you little dyke! Oh. And she, she <laughs> <laughs> We know Shantae, yes, we that's do. our girl right stop there. Stop bullying me! <laughs> Put your cock, your cock piece away and stop bullying me. Come on, man. <laughs> no, because she put that strap on on and thinks she a dude. Stop <laughs> bullying me. Before I beat you with your own strap on. No, you my no, niece. No, 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 Come no, on. No. Shantae, that's like I said, that's our family. Uh, it's, my, it's my real family. I was talking about trees, I want to hit her with one of them little, them little pieces that she wear on them strap-ons. She does not. Leave, leave a dick print on her, come. on her back. Yo. That's the closest to Dick Shantae, Chubb again. come up here anytime you're ready. <laughs> I got to get y'all so, Wait, okay, So yeah. she was like, when I first did my first special, Woken, she said, Uncle Marlon, I just think uh, that you got so much more material that you could talk about. I said, Shantae, I said, this is my first special. Mm -hmm. I just want people to know that I do stand-up and that I'm funny, right? Mm -hmm. And I said, over time... I'm not gonna drop one special. My goal is to drop 20 specials mm -hmm. and to watch right. my evolution over the time and the course of me dropping specials and how much better I progress. And I did that one and then I did the next one two years later. And then a year after that, mm -hmm. I did my next one, God Loves Me. And now a year after that, I'm doing good grief. Mm -hmm. Every year I'm gonna drop like an album. You plan to do it every year? I'm wow. dropping albums. I was telling DB like it's a lot of people doing a lot of specials. I wanna. Playing like Drake. You want the you want the Drake plane. I'm tired of being in first class. That's nothing but coach with bigger seats. <laughs> tired of these white people bringing their damn dogs on a plane. When I have my jet, I ain't bringing no damn dogs on a plane and lying and saying they security dogs or 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 emotional support dogs. You ain't never fucking hug your puppy when you sad about some shit. You ain't never hugged And hey, what's this little stink beard you got going on here? That's no, torch no, right there, that, man. Marley. Come on, Marlon. That's torch. Yeah, that looks better dicky. than yours. Oh, oh, nigga, oh, your beard looked like he was in a fire, oh, nigga. Oh, your beard that like, shit looked like pubic hair, nigga. Oh, your beard like a chihuahua. I know you ain't talking shit. <laughs> your shit looked like ass hair, nigga. What is that, a mole? Who, who braided that? your ass hair and put it on your fucking chin? better than yours. Nigga, stop. You got You got alopecia. Your shit. Shit look, your shit look like the shit Will Smith smacked Chris Rock right over. Here, it's all right, nigga. But I got you got alopecia in your pockets, nigga. Yeah. How about that, nigga? Alopecia you got alopecia in your pocket. Your life got alopecia, nigga. Nah, How you like minute. that? Come on, man. What's that? How you like that, nigga? Nah. Right, nice try. You still got ass hair on your motherfucking chin. But you got a dingleberry bed. <laughs> Is that funny though? <laughs> nigga, you look at your. I'll take a no. picture of your shit. No. I will no. spread my. My ass no. and take a picture side by side no. with that shit you call a beard, no. nigga. No. That shit is uh, that shit is no. ugly, nigga. That shit look like a lonely dread, nigga. One, you got one. Hey, Marlon, a, you, you got a ting, you got a ting growing on your fucking chin. I'm gonna let you ride. Go ahead, man. Please do. What? I don't know. What just no, happened? look at that. Look at this fucking chin. You got nerve. Ain't got ain't chin. got the nerve. You can't even shape your shit up. Oh, man. That shit look like the Caribbean islands. <laughs> yo, 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 yo. Let's talk about good green. Yo. 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 Like coral reef. Yo. Oh, coral coral reef. reef man. <laughs> that shit is bad, man. Yo, what just happened? I never seen a nigga. Yo. Beard line received. Yo, 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 yo
job. Yo, that shit gotta don't be forget Baller was going to He was feeling some type of Yo, way about this. Why did you do this to this? We Why are you twisting like you got nervous habits? Come on, man. No. Yo, we was just talking about this earlier today of how, like, New York mad, you got to be ready. Oh, yeah, this is on the street corner always. Yes, because y'all can Always. Let's go. That's L.E.S. in Harlem right there. All day. All day. Oh, that's a smart ass. That's one of them niggas. I stay up from the sun up to the sun down. We keep going. Nigga, now I go around the side. I start looking at the gear, nigga. And I start I start breaking it down like a Terminator. Like, all right. That was a fucking New York moment right there. You got no jaw line, you know, <laughs> looking drunk in the face, Torch looking you know at what I'm Marlin. Get him, Nigga, how old eyes? Can't can't talk about nothing bad. Come about on it. with the merch. Nothing bad about it. <laughs> okay, so good grief. Uh, <laughs> I didn't even. I'm just stop. Right. Yo, you was going. You was saying how much you matured right, since that Jay Z joke, then, damn. and then you went then, 20 I, years I, backwards. I apologize to you. Yeah, I, a relapse. You know, I, he brought me to the block, and I I just want to apologize. That's oh, torch. We was on a stoop just that now. Was bad. My, my my bad. <laughs> I came in here, so minding my nigga. business. I was talking about the special, and he. <laughs> Said something, I just. I didn't say you didn't say yo, I started on him. You put that to him, Marlon. Yeah. Yeah. See, I, that's see how it happens. I, see what had happened. What was, what was? I was. My, I don't know what happened. You can we play it back? I want to see. Okay, it. Let's play it back. Can the audience tell me how this happened? Listen, you know maybe we can. Right. <laughs> All right. All right. DP, you want to say something? Not now. <laughs> shit. I'm shutting the fuck up. What happened? You came in and said I'm mature <laughs> since my first stand up. I'm a new man. <laughs> I'm in tune with my pain now. Yeah. My whole stand up is different. <laughs> and then you, Meanwhile, I don't know. I apologize. You got to work I, it out. He's just I, betting right I now. I apologize. He's just it I out. apologize to the listeners. I apologize, Shante. Talking about hitting on the back with her own. On dildo. On bro. dildo. Yeah. I'm sorry, Come Shante. On, strap leave, on. I mean, I want to leave a dick print on your back with a strap on. That was. Don't I mean, guess that was wrong with me. Craig, yeah. can you. T- text Shantae Tell her uncle Says he loves her Craig, And he's sorry Craig a comedian and too Craig funny But he He, 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 he done stand up A couple of times But he funny uh, Craig no, is a writer no. He wrote a uh, scary movie With us He wrote uh, Don't be a menace uh, Wrote on Marlon he, uh, Craig been writing With us for a while He's a writer uh, And a producer Get in the camera cool. man Let's see your face Pull man. Up, Nobody Craig. ever asked you To get in the front yeah. Of the camera man Yeah Craig He don't need to <laughs> Go Craig look Tired of him Stealing my Craig. bitches Look at Marlon's cousin Show <laughs> handsome self Get out of here Okay Damn <laughs> He make me have to cheat And go yeah Well my dick is bigger Look at that ladies Damn oh my God. Y'all do that when, when did that happen <laughs> The family functions One of y'all <laughs> Thanksgiving When no, does no, this I'm happen just Talking shit just talking. Oh okay So good grief What is good grief <laughs> Good grief is a, a very special special about my dead parents. Oh man! Oh, oh man! Oh, it is. It's about my. It's. it's I'm celebrating. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga crazy. I just stepped outside of myself. You talk about yourself. You, right? you, 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 you heard yeah, yourself like, say. I, you yeah, heard it, right? I'm crazy. Yeah. Because when you told me that artist, what's his name? Sampha. Sampha. Yeah. When I met him just now, mm-hmm. and you said, "Yeah, he's a dope artist." I don't said, hey nigga, draw me something because he looked like. Because <laughs> <laughs> he got he the had, Bosky out there. He had hair. the Bosky out braids. Yeah. You know what I mean? When a nigga got one of them, them dreads that he never washed. Like he don't got. Them, I don't wash my ass, I just paint. <laughs> Freeform life. And he had a garlicky, you know, he has a little goat smell on him. And I, I thought he was an artist, but when you said an artist, I didn't. No, it smelled like lamb chops. Something. No, ga- no, he was gamey, but he's European. Gamey. And so. Yo. I apologize for you and PM people. Yo, but you tried to lift him for the sweater he had on. Did he? Yeah, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I actually am ordering talking. right now seven. <laughs> I, it was good quality. <laughs> I was like, this this <laughs> Negro's from Paris. He Parisian. Yeah, well, from the UK. Yeah, from the UK, across what? the pond. Okay. Okay. Good grief. <laughs> for the Six eighth time. Ten. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I'm performing at the Apollo. <laughs> it's two sold out shows. Uh, officially, I, I'm sold out. Um, <laughs> But you could try online, but uh, you know I, I'm coming home. My parents was born and raised in Harlem, and I wanted to, and I'm I'm born and raised in Manhattan, uh, down on. Uh, 
it used to be, you know, the, the projects, Chelsea, the yeah. you know, Fulton, but now it's it's the meatpacking district, so I lost all my street cred. <laughs> <laughs> I hate gentrification because it really it really fuck up your street cred. Yeah. Soon he's gonna be like, I'm from Harlem. I'm like, nigga, get out of here. It's nice up there now. You got Starbucks. <laughs> Harlem still keep it real, cause they yeah. ain't got a Macy's. They get still got a Jazzy J's. What's that? that? They still what Jimmy is it? Jazz. Yeah, yep. Jimmy oh, Jazz. Jazz. That's how you know. If you yeah. ain't got a Macy's or Nordstrom, nah, we Jimmy Jazz. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> and they, and like, they, took, Yo, they, they took Target out of they took the Target out of Harlem too. Oh, they really? They, down. they just got a dollar yeah. store now. Yep. <laughs> Target was like, oh, these niggas ain't buying nothing. Uh, <laughs> they cheap <ain't> shoplifting. <laughs> yeah, that's why they did it. They said they lost a lot of money because of that. They still shoplifting in Harlem. They, that's yeah. why they wear them puffy jackets. They will they'll steal the store. <laughs> Puffy jackets even in the summer. Marlon, Absolutely. Yes. When you had men- Okay, so I'm doing my <laughs> I'm doing my special. God uh, what is it? Good grief. Good, good grief. grief. It's called good, good grief. grief. And it's a, I went through a lot the last three years. I yes. lost I lost uh, fifty seven people that I loved. Damn. And I in one it. year? In in three years. In three years. And okay. so I just want people to know that, you know, you can go through pain, you can go through hurt. And at the end of the day, you can still smile. Yeah, and it's about the celebration of life, and it's not about the death. It's about the the the, the birth of your own existence and celebrating yourself, and really uh, celebrating what was fun and funny mm -hmm. about the people you love. So this is a really funny special. It's dedicated to my mom and my dad, and uh, yeah. So I'm doing it in at the Apollo when my mom performed yeah. when she was a kid with her sisters, the wow. Green Sisters. They That's all cool. performed, Full circle. and they won two times at the Apollo, and uh, my parents parents are born and raised in Harlem, so I wanted to come home and honor them and, and uh, put it to rest. I love it, man. It's yes, good sir. grief at the Apollo this Saturday, 6.30 and 9 p.m. I'm at the Nyack right now. Ah, Nyack. Rockland County. Levity Live. Yes. I, don't, I don't know what that said. That, that's oh, that's like Levity 50 Live. minutes outside of the city. That's um, West that sound, that, that sound, At the mall. Okay, so that sounds like... Palisade Center Mall. Yeah, because it's really nice in Nyack. Uh, yes. And where you said, Rock Rockland County. Yeah, that sounds like <laughs> there's, <laughs> there's, there's, there's projects there. That sounds like niggas still pee in the stairwells it's nice. in the elevators <laughs> and do graffiti so I'm gonna be in a nice part Nyack where there's trees and there's real birds no pigeons and uh, no pigeons <laughs> Real birds, <laughs> but come on through. It's, okay. it's a, I'm I'm, yes. I'm 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 uh, practicing for my special, and um, I'm having fun. So uh, I'm in Nyack. I think there's still a few more tickets. There's one tonight, two tomorrow, and then mm -hmm. on Saturday I'm at the Apollo, and then on New Year's Eve I'm at the Roxy in Atlanta. Oh, wow. With a brand new Ooh. set. I got a brand new That's hour. That's hard. I'm trying to do. I'm Might figuring have it to out. Do that. That's hard. Brand new hour, and uh, yeah, come at the Roxy I, in Atlanta. Two shows. Get your tickets now. If I come to that new New Year's Eve show. I, I'm on a table, man. Let's do it. Let's do a party. Let's do an after Ooh. party somewhere. You should do that shit, bro. Yeah, let's go. I think I want to like, come. Sweat dead and serious. Suits and you sneakers. Know I'm dead yes, serious. he is. I want snoop, nope. suits and sneakers, sneakers and ladies in dresses and sneakers. Mm. And then like afterwards, that. we do an after after party at Magic City. We make the money, then we blow it on all the strippers with the big asses <laughs> that smell like <laughs> lamb chops. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah. Well, we ain't making money that. I'm spending money that. You making money. <laughs> We no, but burn. if we if we, we do, do the party, party, we make money. Let's do but it. we only make money Just because we're gonna put some nice ladies with big asses through nursing school. Mm. <laughs> no nursing school. How often do you go to strip clubs now? I don't really, really like strip clubs. Cause yeah. I I don't like because they rub on you and I, you rub on some certain amount of time. I bust a nut. Sorry. Damn. It's, Damn. it's gonna you, happen. You still got that ability. <laughs> At this you, stage, it's like, you it's ain't, like a disability. You quit? Man, I can't. Your dick retired, nigga? At a strip I still club, got, yeah. I got teenage dick, yeah. nigga. <laughs> <laughs> it get happy. You rub on me, I'm going to squirt up. Just and, like that. That's the sound But that's why I don't like doing it. I don't... <laughs> I, I just rather give these ladies money and go thank you and, yeah. and then leave. I, I'm good for 15. I'm too generous. Mm. They see a sucker. When I walk in, they're like, mm, <laughs> sucker. And I got a good heart. And I don't want to touch them and stuff because I don't want them to feel like right. I'm lascivious. So, <laughs> and objectify I will them. take if they want to rub on me with their glitter. And I don't want that glitter shit because it don't come off. Yeah, take three days to come off. Yep, guess you in trouble. It comes with a smell. It do. A little fish sticks on it. Glitter comes with a smell. <laughs> Hold on. We got Mark on the line in Florida. Mark, what up? Say hello to Marlon Wayans. Mark, what up, hey, Mark? Mark. Hey, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hey, hey, hey. What What's up, man? up, brother? Hey, it's a pleasure to be on with y'all. I listen every single morning that I can. Y'all really bring joy to my life and to just breathe positivity and all that good stuff. Mm. But I must say to my man, Marlon Wayans, listen, brother, um, 
I took my old lady to go see you at the Hard Rock down here in Tampa, uh, you know, a little while ago. And I can say that this man put on one hell of a show. Yeah. One Thank hell you. of a show. I about to, uh, I thought you were about to say that nigga ain't funny. I was like, what? <laughs> He's calling, <laughs> talking all this positivity and going to shit on my craft. Impossible. <laughs> but thank you, man. Actually, Marlon, I don't even know if you remember, but like a couple people, you know, had the phones and everything. That was a whole situation. People put away your phone. As you said during that, just enjoy the moment. Yes. Enjoy the comedy. I'm 38 years old, so I, I grew up with. You know, the Wayans Brothers and, yeah. and Scary Movie. Thank you. You know, that's my generation. So I just want to say seeing you live and in person was a, a privilege and an honor, man. And I really appreciate your work and everything you do. Thank you, man. Uh, your comedy is, is, is top-notch, brother. And, and just God bless you. Thank, Thank you. Thank you for everything. I appreciate you, you coming out, and I appreciate your support, man. And uh, uh, best years ahead of me, man. Like, I I really feel like in stand-up right now, my best years are ahead of me. Like, I'm I'm... I know how to leave my body, leave my set, and just have fun in the moment. And mm. I could rock. I'm not afraid at any stage. That's the thing, right? I, I played that one room. You in saw the, me yeah, in the Bronx. Yeah, I was. I was in the Bronx. Yeah, it was uh, in the South of Kong Fuego. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And man. I know many. I smelled like dead bodies. I know a lot of niggas bombed there. <laughs> yeah, it man. It smelled like pasteles, <laughs> bacala, <laughs> and dead bodies. Yeah. <laughs> That's I knew a some hard comment. crowd. It's boy. a hard crowd, <laughs> but wow. I lit I lit that bitch up. I, you lit it up because you can't care, right? Yeah. You are. I'm a surfer. Mm. I don't care how big the wave is. Mm. I look and go. I can't wait to. I don't, I don't go to water. I can't wait to get on that. Yeah. When you know your art, I'm not afraid of anything. I, yeah. I, I, I don't Amen. care. Hey, hey Mark, you a citizen, bro? I and, and, and then you did something really dope because I, I went up there. Who was I with? Rich, Rich, Rich nice? nice. I think mm -hmm. Rich Nice and I went, and we sat and they and we sat and I was like, shit, man, the acoustics ain't even for. I didn't think it was the room was meant for stand. -up. Oh, it's meant oh. for a party. It's it meant for a party. Yeah, it's meant. It's the best sound yeah. system you want to have for yeah. a party, but for stand up, I was like, fuck, how Marlon gonna do, man? Mm. The first thing you did that I thought was dope. The announcer said, "If you want to take film, if you want to film anything, do it now. While he's coming up on stage, put it on your stories. After that, cut it." Yeah. yeah. So I can't think of the song you came out to, but it had everybody fired up. They got to do their filming. Mm -hmm. That was their fix, and then they cut it. And I just saw you piece together. You might have had a routine, but you pieced together a show just off the cuff, just yeah. talking yeah. to people. Read the I, room. Man, I applauded that shit. I was like, yeah, that's my guy. Now, if he would have bombed, that's I would have just... That's not nah. <laughs> Well, here's the thing. I don't know that lady. Let's go. <laughs> Fuck out Let me here. get my pateles to go. <laughs> here's the thing, right? Because I don't... I stop. I don't hype myself up when I do shows. I used to hype myself up. Now, I ground myself. I have mm. me a green tea. I sit there. Because when I go out, my first five minutes, I'm jabbing at the audience. I'm jabbing. Yeah. I, I want to see where they're at. I want to see, are you tight? Are you ready to get loose? Are you want to, how dark can I get? Oh, y'all tight. All right, mm -hmm. let me go a little darker. Let mm -hmm. me make you hate me. Yeah. And now I'm going to make you love me. And I'll make you hate me again. And I'm, by the end, you're going to love me again or not. Sometimes mm -hmm. I leave you with a nasty taste in your mouth and be like, take it. I'm out, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> because the set ain't about y'all. The yeah. set is about me growing mm -hmm. as an artist. What y'all, huh. a lot of times, what they watching is, I write on a stage. I don't sit down with a pen and pad and go, what's funny? I don't do that. Yeah. I go on a stage with something that's on my heart or in my spirit, and I just let that lead, and then I write my sets. I write my sets on a stage. I never write it down. Mm. I don't do that. He'll transcribe it. Like We'll get the audio, and we'll transcribe it so I see the words and be like, oh, okay. But the reality of it is I don't, I don't look at that. Mm. I learn mine as I piece it together on a stage. Wow. People paying to watch me write and then I get it together and then I do a special and then I start from scratch and then do another one. I don't want to sit on material for 15 years. Yeah. I don't want to do that. I don't want to <clears throat> tour with the same set. I want to go, all right, this is what's happening in my life right now and I'll talk about it and then that goes away and then it's the challenge of recreating something funny because that makes you a better writer, mm -hmm. a better producer mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and as an artist you evolve. I don't want to be stuck in my 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 early years. I'm Look, 50, man. I got to talk about real shit. Yeah, man. Well, it's all I, I said when we were talking with um recently we were talking with Leslie. Uh, who was it? Leslie Jones. Leslie Jones, but not, that's not who I was speaking of. We were talking to someone who was <clears throat> saying what their process is now. We, we, you get to a point, I've done this a long time. In the beginning, I was trying to make my mark. You know, yo, look what me and King Tech are doing. Y'all have y'all can't hold a candle to this shit. I don't care who you compare us to. Right, right, right. Nobody's ever done what we did. Now, give me that, give me this. 
And now it's all about how much can I give? Right. Right. No more about the game. Right. Because to give is the game. Right. You know what I mean? And it's like the pressure of like, right, I don't do it. I'm not in competition with nobody. There you mm-hmm. go. I'm mm-hmm. in competition with myself. Mm-hmm. I don't care about what anybody else is doing. I don't want to be, I don't want nobody else's uh, success. I only want what God got for me. And that's by making me the best artist that I could be. Digging deep and finding funny with it where there is no funny. There What's is. funny in death? Mm-hmm. And that's what I love about this set is what's funny about death, the scariest, darkest thing, and I got a whole hour on it. Wow. Damn. And for me, that's the stuff I want to talk about. You know what I mean? Like, I, And I, I know my next three or four specials. Once I get the story, and I'm giving story, a lot of comedians, they do jokes. I, I got jokes with story. I'm yeah. a writer, right? Mm-hmm. I've been writing movies and TV for 30 years. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I, before I go jokes, I go, what's the story I want to tell? Well, how did you get to the point? Man, I used to see, like, when Paul Mooney used to be signed with Stepson Records under a guy named Bill Stephanie. In the early 90s, I had a production deal over there. We were putting records out through Bill Stephanie. So I would, when Paul Mooney would come to the Bay, I would go see him at the punchline. Homie. Yeah. <laughs> Homie. Oh, look, look, look at the white people. Oh. <laughs> 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 that nigger's crazy. I used to watch Paul Mooney as a kid. Me and my brother, my brother Damien used to take me, Sean, Craig, uh, Damien, and we'd go to the comedy store. We'd sneak in. We was like 8 and 10 years old. And we'd go to a comedy store and we'd watch Paul Mooney perform. And he used to he used to talk so crazy that there'd be one lone white person left in the room. Yeah, <laughs> that's, so that, that's what I was going to ask yes. you. Paul Mooney would leave the crowd so fucked up. Yes. Mm-hmm. And I and that would make me wonder. Well, was this funny? Was what was the purpose? Oh, what was was slavery funny? Oh, <laughs> it's too real, homie. It's too real. 400 years of it, it must have been a hell of a joke, homie. Uh-huh. That nigga is dark. Yes. But he was one of the greatest because you sit there and he literally don't care about making you laugh. Right. He sit there he and he just it. cares about telling the truth. And that, as a comedian, you got to have the balls to tell the truth. Mm. And, that's, and that's when you talk, when you tell me, when you explain him where you are. Paul Mooney comes to mind. Not because right. of the nature of the content. It's just the real, right. The real, right. and then the, the not need for validation. Yes. Absolutely, and I don't even talk about, I don't even talk about like um, pop culture no more. Mm. Yeah. I don't care. Yeah. That comes and it goes. I don't care about the news. Mm-hmm. That comes and it goes. I want to talk about things that's going to be forever. Yeah. My experience in this lifetime and what hurts me and what I'm going through and how I can make that make somebody feel good because guarantee you, I'm not the only one dealing with death. Mm -hmm. I'm not the only one dealing with grief. Everybody in that crowd is going to be dealing with grief. Mm -hmm. I'm just giving them a a blueprint on how to handle it and keep yourself positive through it. Because, you know, a lot of people can't, it's hard to deal with. But laugh your way through it. Me, I want to give them the Wayans way. We be at funerals. My family crazy. We be at funerals. (laughs) And we always got jokes. And people think we crying, but we laughing. (laughs) One of my cousins, uh, died and my auntie buried him in jeans and sneakers and um, <laughs> and a Yankee hat. That's the joke <laughs> is being written. So my brother Damon leans over and he goes, you know, if there's a dress code in heaven, I don't think Seti's getting in. <laughs> <laughs> Up. And people thought Look we were family. crying. Look at your family over there. Look at <laughs> people thought we were crying, but well, we were laughing. Every funeral, we always got jokes, but man. Why not, right? The Wayne's way, not, man. Why, why not? We take man? what's bad and what's sad, and we make you glad. There so, it is, man. We got Sean on the line from Toronto. Oh, I thought my brother Sean. Yeah, I, was like, I was like, Sean, where you at? Where <laughs> is Sean, man? Why ain't seen Sean? I'm right here. I'm she right here. I'm right here. Yeah, I'm right here. I just want to say he came to Toronto and shut the place down. Like, I hope he does the Shaq. His impression of Shaq <laughs> is incredible. <laughs> his, him talking about his dad and his mom, it was incredible. Like, Thank you, brother. Me and my wife laughed for a week oh, after the show. Beautiful. <laughs> Damn, they laughed. After. A beautiful. week after? That might be a Guinness a Book week. World Record. I'm in my bag, we, man. We, we still look at each other, and I don't want to say it because it seems like that's what he's going to be doing. So yeah, I don't, 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 get, don't, get, don't give him away, but I know what you're going to say. But don't give away. <laughs> this, this guy 
guy is, he's at his prime now. He's funnier than ever. Mm. Uh, you're going to look at feet differently and heads differently. <laughs> and <laughs> he, he, I just want to say congratulations, man, and keep going. Thank you, Don't brother. stop. Thank you, for Don't sure. Stop. Hey, Sean, thank you. thank you. You're a citizen. I'm sorry thank you, my brother. And, and I appreciate that. Go drink some that. water, Sean. Go yeah. drink some water. I'm about to say, yeah. no, 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 that, that might be that might have been his last <laughs> show. <laughs> 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 I know, I'm hyped. I'm hyped. I'm hyped. Okay, okay. It'll be Get that okay. mucus right. out your lungs. You got that, <laughs> that COVID. <laughs> Try a steam room. All right. Has there ever been a time, Marlon, where being such a jokester, being a comedian, has been to your detriment where folks didn't take you seriously at a time where you were meant to be taken seriously, whether that was in a business meeting Always. or whether that's in your love life. How it's, do you navigate that? I don't care. People can have their <laughs> point of view of you, but why am I going to succumb to their point of view? People get to know you over time. What their impression of you is, is just an impression. Mm -hmm. So why am I going to let that defeat the complete human being that I am? If girls are like, he too silly. Well, you want to miss out on this big old dick? That's on you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Was that no, wrong? No, 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 that's the end of the show. Thank you. Well, Marlon, I, uh, <laughs> Marlon I mean, if you want to miss out on this deep conversation. <laughs> right, right, right. A deep, deep, deep conversation. Wow. That's on you. But, and it, <laughs> <laughs> what just happened? Marlon, it's the Marlon Wayne's effect. <laughs> That's what happened. I love this dude, man. Good up for Marlon Williams, man. Woo! Yo, you are so necessary for all of us. Good Charlie. grief at the Apollo this this Saturday, November 11th, 6.30 and 9 p.m. Get your tickets. Yes. And I'm at the Nyack right now tonight and tomorrow. Nyack, two shows. Yes. Get your tickets. And then New Year's, I'm in Atlanta at the Roxy. Get your tickets now. It will sell out. There it is, man. Love you, brother. I love, love you more. You, thank you, you, brother. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yes, Every thank time, you, Marlon. Every thank time, you, man. Yes, sir. We want to thank Sanford for coming I'm by a today. Citizen. You are yeah. Yeah, Sanford, Sanford. Morning, baby. goat meat, you dope. <laughs> his new his new album, Tracy. Yes, yeah, and beautiful project. We'll be yes. back tomorrow. Lola Brooke is coming tomorrow. Yep, Lola what? Brooke and John B. John wow. B. Wow, he's still alive. John B. Still alive. Yo, Marlon. <laughs> Last time I saw Pac was, was with, with John. Me? No, it was actually with John B. <laughs> John B. They was um. He was hanging out with John B. John B. Was at the How Do You Want It video shoot. Oh. And then uh, we did this last interview with Pac on his trailer. But John B. Was in the trailer with um, JoJo from um, um, Jodeci the whole oh. time. But I know you have the relationship with Pac. I just some reason. To... I I saw Pac twenty minutes before he got shot. Twenty wow. minutes. Me and Omar. I did above the rim with Pac. Yeah. Omar did uh, juice with Pac, and uh, me and. And Mitchell also did Juice with Pac. He was the guy that said, "You got your juice now, man." He hates it, but yeah, he's oh, yeah. he's uh, we had know. him on the show. Yeah. <laughs> what are you talking about? You got the juice <laughs> now, man. He's he's the hood famous. Yeah. And so, um, I never seen a nigga get so much pussy off one line. This <laughs> nigga had one line. You got the juice now. I think line, that's what though. he did when he bust nuts on girls. Like, Wah! You got the juice now, baby. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so anyway, I saw Pac. So we saw him at the, um, he was at the Luxor, and we yeah. was out there for the fight. And we saw him hang out, me, him, Omar, because we all a bunch of performing arts high school hood kids. Yeah. So you, it's like niggas that grew up in the projects or whatever, or grew up in the hood, but we went to these performing arts high schools. And so when they did Juice, and I did Above the Realm, now we all used to hang out. Me and Jada was cool in California. And so... 20 minutes before he got shot, we saw Pac, we was in a cab, and O was like, yo, I'm gonna go over there and say what's up. I was like, yeah, I bet. And then I saw Suge Knight and a lot of red niggas. I was like, no, I'm good. I'll be over here. Just give Pac my love. He said, come on, give man. I said, man, you dark skinned niggas. Your Audi belly buttons don't care about nothing. Audi. You ain't afraid of nothing. And so he went over and uh, we shook his hand and we gave him love and, you know, and then we went How back. How was his energy in that moment? He was like, yo, what's up? It was uncertain. Mm. It was very like, hey, what's up, what's up? Well, he wasn't present. It was like mm -hmm. he had worried, like, things on his mind. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I think mm -hmm. they had a fight earlier. He wasn't, you know what I mean? And I, I just felt like he was he was thinking about stuff. You know how you're not present? Yeah. yeah. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, yeah. you thinking about stuff and you're not really present. Like, you know, so we shook his hand. And then we went to the cab and he was getting in the BMW. That same car. And he looked at us getting in that cab like... I know this BMW is fly, 
But man, I really would like to be in that cab with those mm. safe niggers. Yeah. And uh, 20 minutes later, he got shot. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Damn. Man, well, thank you for sharing that. Yeah. Oh, man. That's... So 20 And then I saw Biggie 20 minutes before he got shot. No. I swear to God. I was at. You was the, at that party? Yes. I was at that party. And okay. my brother Keenan, we we are. I saw Big. We was on the escalator. He goes, Yo, I love your family, bro. Y'all are funny. I'll keep doing what you're doing. And he had a, uh, I remember, he, he, we were going down the escalator, and then we got in the car, and he got in his car, and my brother Keenan had a drop top uh, Mercedes, and we heard, pop, pop, pop. Keenan said, no, go. And I had my Range Rover, and he sped off with like three bad bitches in his car. And, <laughs> was that and my <laughs> old ass Range Rover was, kum, kum, over a speed bump. <laughs> and then I went to eat at a, Jerry's Deli. Yep. And I got the news that they were at Cedar Sinai mm -hmm. and Puff and Mark Pitts, who I went to school with, and Tracy Lee, who wow. went to uh, college with me, who had uh, who was on Mark Pitts' label by a storm. They were up there, and uh, and, uh, and and Biggie died. And so you know, um, there's a picture with Tupac and Biggie, a famous picture, mm -hmm. Pac and Biggie, at Glam Slam. Yep. And if you look to the side. There's a 19-year-old Marlon Wayans sitting there twisting his hair, watching the two of them. We all hung out that night. So I think my point is, um, don't hang around me, nigga, because 20 minutes later, you're going to get shot. <laughs> oh, so 20 minutes from now, Stop it. shots going to ring out. No, no, man. Yeah. Well, guys. No, no, no. Thanks, I'm thanks, Mark. While you were there, I was on live on air. At 92.3 to beat wow. during the Wake Up Show with King Tech. Wow. So we were headed to that party. I think it was a vibe party. Yes. Because we were coming party. off of air. Yeah. Right off right off, right right. the um, the automotive uh, thing right on Thursday. Off of Wilshire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The beat was right down the street. So yeah. I was rushing to get off the air to come to that party. Mm. And then somebody called while we were live on the air to tell us Biggie just got shot. You got to announce it. <laughs> I was like, I'm not announcing that. I don't know if that's true or not. I didn't believe it. And then when we got off air. He just wanted to go to that party. Man, I didn't want to go to the party. Yeah, but I wanted to go to the party. But I just, I just could not believe that. Yeah. So, yeah. I, I could didn't believe, not believe when it. When Pac got shot, you understand? This is like the third time he got shot. I'm yeah. like, hey, yeah. yo, he got shot He'll again. He'll be all right. What's he, we, what, he gonna, when he, what album he going to make off this, this time he got shot? And uh, we thought he was going to live. Yeah, we all and, did. Yeah. It was like a week. Yeah, we felt he was gonna come. It's Pac, he gonna come through. Yeah, yeah, man, I'm gonna stay in the office for the next 20 minutes. You know, we got security downstairs. Yeah, I'll join you. Yeah, man. you know that was uh, that was a tough time, and that's why I say like all this beefing and all this nonsense, yo, this it could escalate, right? Yes. Yeah. And we too old to to be that dumb, like. And the kids, like, stop with this this is this is stupidity, man. Life is so precious. I'm so grateful to be able to be 51. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. To be able to have lived a long yeah. life. My yeah. parents would have wanted that. You know, I think about his mom. Mm -hmm. You know, th that's a heartbreak for a mother that your son, you've got to mourn your son. No parent wants to bury their child. Yeah. You know, so I just think about all that nonsense and it's just like let's let's just kill that noise they, they need to bring positivity back to hip-hop i think so too let's I'm, do it. i want to hear need, need I, I miss that old school Yo. headed for self-destruction you're headed for self-destruction <laughs> put the crack did. away it's whack <laughs>